Hi sweeties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is the Kelly Sipo and we're going higher, baby. Period. I know I haven't done a makeup video in a minute, but I'm back and ready to make sure we all slay our brows this year. For more lifestyle, beauty and fashion related content, please like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Please don't mind me if I look to the side, that is where my mirror is. For the perfect fluffy brow, you are going to need a brow spoolie or a brush like this one. You're also going to need some got to be glue spray. It's old, I know, but it works. You're also going to need the Essence Micro Precise Brow Pen. I like this, but you can use a normal brow pen. Just make sure it is sharp. LA Girl Pro Concealer. My shade is Fawn your foundation just to clean out the brows you are also going to need a flat brush i generally like to use an old flat brush i've had this flat brush for years and i like to put some got to be glued spray on it just to make it as flat as possible Make sure you pinch all of the bristles of the brush close together and as flat as possible. Now let's get into actually doing the brows. I start off by putting some got to be spray on my brow brush, then applying all of that onto my brows. You want to brush your brow hairs up all the way up, make sure each and every strand is coated with the gel and also in the opposite direction, just like how I'm doing. Push it up and a bit forward. You can go ahead and add more spray or brow gel onto your brows. Just make sure that it's not too much. And then press your brow hairs flat, completely flat onto your forehead. Flat, flat, flat. Then we head on over to our other brow and we basically do the same process of just brushing our brow hairs up and pressing onto our hairs so that they lay flat onto our forehead this is how your brows should look all the brow hairs up and tamed and clean um, even if you have the more stubborn brows if you do this it'll help a lot when it comes to being able to draw your brows i'm now going to begin the process of drawing my brow by outlining my brow at the bottom I like to follow my brow shape at least 90% or 80% and then kind of throw my brow a bit more straight towards the end and that's my preference obviously you can do things differently and actually follow your brow shape it's just that I like my brow a little a little higher and then I start to draw hair like strokes on where I feel like my brows are a bit sparse. If your brows aren't as sparse and if they're groomed, you could actually skip the step um, and just shape it with your concealer and your foundation, which is the whole point of a natural fluffy brow. Now you see me actually drawing more hair like strokes in the front. Now I'm going to try and do the other brow, which is so different from my first brow. It is so much higher and I actually don't let it stress me. Honestly, brows do not look the same from the get. So I don't know how I'm supposed to make them look the same. If God didn't want them to look the same. But yeah, this is it with the outline at the bottom and a few hair-like strokes to fill in where my brows may be missing. It's time to conceal and this is the most important part of slaying your brow. This will either make or break your brow. So 
be patient take your time be slow control the amount of concealer you use to help me do that i put a little bit on the back of my hand so that i don't put too much concealer trust me you do not want to get too much concealer on As you can see, I try to lay my flat brush flat onto my skin instead of pointy so that I can get um, product all the way down to my eyelid. As you can see, I'm taking my time with this very, very slowly. The slightest mistake will just ruin your brow. So take your time with this and continue to blend concealer all the way to your eyelid patting it down make sure you don't uh, move it around too much because you're gonna just move product grabbing my foundation and now it's time for her to shine i'm going to use my foundation once again just like my concealer putting a little bit of it at the back of my hand to control the amount of products i have and then now i'm just gonna um, clean the front of my brow with my foundation it's easier to do so with your foundation because you want to be able to blend everything on your face seamlessly so the foundation color will blend very well with the rest of the foundation that is going to go onto your nose and the rest of your face Guys, when it comes to makeup, the most important thing is just blending, making sure that things don't look too sharp and too like, oh, now there's a line demarcating how I cleaned my brow. So now I'm going to use foundation again to clean out the top part of my brows. You can see the method that I use. It works perfectly for me. Um, I try to put a bit of my foundation at the top like not directly where i'm going to clean my brow but i try to place it on the top a bit and kind of pat it down using very little product once again we do not want to have harsh lines around our brows and we do not want to have light light halo effects around our brows i like my brow a little more arched so i do that with the the foundation as i'm cleaning up as well also because my other brow is actually quite high so i try not to make this one too low I also like my tail quite sharp so I do take my time to sharpen it up and just continue cleaning um, don't worry about making your brow completely crisp from the get because honestly you are going to continue going at your brow to make it as perfect as you want or look like smaller but I think I like how my brow is looking the shape the arch the size everything and uh, now i'm just gonna put a bit of foundation just a little bit on my brush and create more hair like strokes to help further create the um, you know ombre effect honestly i'm just grateful that this brow looks bad as beautiful it is definitely on my favorite side and yeah i mean my brows are not going to be twins they're not even going to be sisters they might not even know each other but let them both look good maybe different but good still i'm comfortable with that i hope you guys don't stress yourself too much trying to make them perfectly look identical because i don't as you can see i've done the other brow i followed the exact same steps and i mean they don't look the same and i'm okay with that this is the end of the video as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys.